This guy is just amazing. And he's getting just nominated for all kinds of awards. He's getting all these billboard awards. It's really, really, really great news. Like to see somebody be so successful that has such a, a great authentic way about themselves. And that's Oliver Anthony. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me. People like you wish I could just wake up. Do you like them? Do you like them? We get our framing that we're working on here today in the show, clearly. Anyway, I like him. I think he's fantastic. And this one really got me. Do you know that he just did a concert the other day and he started that concert? by reading some passages from the Bible, reading passages about humility. And I thought, you know, well, that's really interesting, especially in this woke day and age where, you know, things like religion are so, I mean, I guess it's, unless it's the Muslim religion and you're from Palestine, are out of favor, right? Like you're not supposed to be religious and certainly, you know, Christians forget about it. Anyway, he uh, he read uh, the, the first Corinthians chapter one, verses 26 to 29, which begins, God choose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the, God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. And it continues, God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the thing that are so that no one may boast before him. And so the idea is, you know what, you're, you're humble. We're all humble in the face of God. And isn't that the truth? And I think his humility is just really something refreshing, something remarkable to see. It should be something that I think we all carry with us through every day of our lives. And, and most definitely artists, musicians, people that are having such an impact on worldviews, people who do what I do. I, you know, I hope that everybody could have some of that humility because that's what we need to remember, that we're very small in the overall scheme of things. And it's a very big world out there. And that kind of selflessness and authenticity is what is really enormously helping him to succeed. You saw the thing, right, with the $100 tickets and he's like, yeah, no way, no how. I, I don't want people to have to spend a hundred dollars to come and hear my music and he's one of the few musicians out there where I could actually play that clip for you I can't do that very often there's all these rules governing that so um he's great I love his songs I heard somebody playing it in a pickup truck as I was going down the highway and this is in the northeast the other day and I was like yeah you know what this is great it's catching on and I love it 